Hi everyone! Welcome back to today's fourth episode of Sewing Snacks in the Hex. So today we are going to learn how to sew on an invisible zipper, okay? Also known as concealed zipper. So it's the kind of zipper we normally see on dresses or skirts and it got its name because once you put it on, you can hardly see it. So once again, we have our guests Little Asha and me Shireen and we'll be showing you that today. Firstly, this is what the invisible zipper looks like. This is the front and this is the back. When you sew it on, it looks like that. So you hardly see the teeth on the front, but just the head alone. And to install it, I will change the footers on my machine. There are two options for footers. Okay, so here. So most of the time, this is the one that comes with your machine. Um, I personally prefer this one because it has deeper grooves. So you notice both have grooves underneath. So that's where the zipper teeth will fit in. To attach for this one, you can simply just press the black lever behind to release. The footer will drop out. And then attach this. Position it nicely. Make sure it catches, lower the footer and there you have it. For option two, we will need to unscrew the footer attachment with the screwdriver provided with your machine and unscrew it. And attach this piece back in. Lower the footer all the way down and screw it back tightly. And here we have two pieces of fabric where the zipper will be attached to. I've marked the right sides or also known as the printed side of your fabric. So if you flip over to the back, Okay, you can also attach two strips of interfacing, especially if your cloth is thinner as well. So the width of this is about 2.5 cm and the length is about the same length as your zipper. So that's going to help make your fabric edge a little thicker. And now I'm going to position the zipper right in the center and unzip this. So this side will sew onto the right and this side will be onto the left. Then what we'll do is we are going to attach this zipper on one side first. To attach, simply just flip the zipper teeth outwards in this manner. And depending on your seam allowance, if the top here is 1cm, then measure 1cm from the top to the top of the plastic bead here. Okay, so this is the plastic stopper. And the side here will depend on your seam allowance as well. So I'm going to use one centimeter for the top and one centimeter for the side. Then go ahead and pin this down. Okay, so pin this down the whole length of the zipper. And then later on, when you sew the other side, you have to also flip the other side outwards and repeat the same by measuring from the top and over here and placing this on the edge as well so that it's 1cm also. Okay, and then we'll start to sew. Okay, so over here I have this side that was pinned down and we're going to sew on the right side over here. Okay, so this teeth will fit onto the left side of the groove and we're going to sew all the way down but towards the last one centimeter we are going to shift this slightly inwards 
by about 0 0.5 cm, so towards the inside, okay? And then we'll sew all the way down until the point we can't sew anymore, we'll do a back stitch. If you experience any resistance at the beginning, it's cause the plastic stopper is in the way. Just give it a little push as you go along. And also make sure your teeth is standing straight upright and not rolling over to the right or the left. Now repeat the same on the other side and remember when you're attaching the other side on pin the teeth and roll it upwards this way okay so eventually when they both meet together it will both fall back in place like that So this time round, I'm going to fit it onto the right side of the groove instead. Now we'll close it up to test if it's done correctly. So perfect. Okay, now to finish off the bottom, we're going to start from here, go all the way down and come back as close as possible to the last stitch that we have sewn. Overlap it by about 1 cm. Now when you do this step, do not sew on the zipper. So pull the zipper away when you get towards it. Okay, so we'll start. So we're going to give this a good press and the back press open and there you have it your invisible zipper installed thank you for watching